been asked a thought-provoking question. I was asked, who is the living God? I don't think that's a question with an easy answer. And I say that because, first, you can't answer a question, who is the living God, without having faith or belief that there is a God. They created us all and all that we see and look through the telescopes and all that in the universe. That whole Big Bang Theory I think is a load of crap. Somebody had to design it and somebody had to set off the fuse for the Big Bang. For, for me personally, in as bad a shape as I am presently in, I have to believe that there is a God that has kept me, protected me, answered the prayers of all those that prayed for me over the many years of growing up in the manhood and all the wars and trials and tribulations of life that I've dealt with. I know that there were people that had faith that prayed for me because they believed that there is a God. Who he would be, my last go round in the hospital, June 22nd, 2009, I ended up in a coma. And I'll tell you, I remember quite a bit from things that happened while I was in a coma, though I didn't know I was in a coma. Heard many things, had some conversations, and they were good conversations. And the place that I was at, I really liked a lot. But the thing that stands out for me in that last serious situation was hearing a voice that told the person I was speaking to who I thought was a priest because he looked and was dressed as a priest and the voice told the priest and, and I heard this voice telling him that it was time to send me back that my work wasn't finished and it was time for me to go. That wasn't the first time I heard that voice, but it was the time that I really listened and acknowledged that voice. In all my reading and studying of Scripture, the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, we, we come to experience God through revelation, and that revelation has to come from clearing our minds, our hearts, our, our internal spirit. We have to clear it of all of the nonsense and chaos that goes on in this world around us so that we can be open to hear his voice when he does speak to us some of you may think God's never spoken to me well he may not speak to you to where you hear a voice but he may speak to you in much more subtler ways such as through your dream or through things that happen around you. You have to be open and open-minded enough to be able to realize that that is the Lord speaking to you. But I, I know from my first-hand experience that the, the more you're able to clear 
clear your spirit and your mind. And the more that you can pray and, and just pray, not praying for things or materialistic stuff, just to be able to pray and have a dialogue with God. It's going to be a good start for any of you that need to find out who He is and what He is because I suspect that He's going to be a different aspect and we're all going to explain Him differently once we experience Him. I think that's that revelation part that we experience Him through the revelation. He's going to reveal Himself so that we grasp and have an understanding of Him. Please know that my personal belief is that there is a living God. I would encourage all of you to get to know Him and to do what you have to to get that experience. Thank you for your time. I'm going to get back to what I do.